I am going to talk about statement of contribution. This is one of the important part of your thesis when you are doing master or when you are doing PhD. And I don't understand in my country, uh, people write the first chapter is a, a continuous pages. But what I understand from Malaysia and other Western countries, I think they just uh, uh, write these things separately like introduction, uh, the problem statement, the research objective, uh, the scope and statement of contribution and finally the um, uh, thesis organizations in past chapter I'm talking about. Now this is statement of contribution. <coughs> so remember my video about a problem statement. Problem statement is you are finding from research uh, literature. You are finding the gap from reading. Read, read, read. So you will find problem statement. Now to solve that problem statement, you set some objectives, some targets, some milestone that I will do this, I will achieve this, I will achieve this. Now the path, the method you are using, the approach you are using to achieve that target, that is your research scope, your limitations. What are your limitations? And the, the statement of contribution is the story, like the story that what you contributed basically to the society to the world to your research to the your particular field so that is the statement of contribution write briefly about your contribution to the society to the research to the science community so let's read this statement of contribution uh, I hope that you watch my uh, video about my objectives and my scope of the research and problem statement and if you do not watch please watch those videos so it will be more clear to you so I read that at the past stage SNA2 multifunctional nanoparticle nanosphere were synthesized by optimizing the temperature during hydrothermal reaction at past stage I did this for better charge transport properties look this at first stage i am telling that i multifunctional nano particles and nanospheres were synthesized how i synthesize by optimizing the temperature during hydrothermal process for better charge transport properties one dimensional porous nanofibers and multi-force nanopower were synthesized using electro spinning process which achieved the past objective you see this is my uh, another way how uh, uh, you can uh, uh, right things right now uh, uh, you th you think that these all things are almost similar like the scope and statement of contribution but you just are take in a different way this is just you are a uh, uh, writing in a statement form that uh, uh, gradually you you told that oh, what you did basically a uh, flow make a flow uh, Look, disensitized solar cell were fabricated. When I did this thing, I fabricated disolar cell using these nanostructure in pure form where the multifunctional nanofiber exhibits superior photovoltaic parameters, particularly the current this much and efficiency this much due to superior light scattering properties. Then I'm telling another story that I divide, I, I uh, uh, fabricate uh, device, solar cell. Uh, using uh, synthesized nanostructure, this structure uh, where uh, this material give me good performance uh, because of this uh, superior light scattering. On the other hand, multiphorous, this one showed significantly higher efficiency with JC is much better than that one due to the high specific surface area and desirable morphology which achieves second objective of the study. You see, uh, I want to mention that my first objective was about high surface area uh, and also to uh, uh, get good higher efficiency. So this multiforce nanofiber have also high surface area because it has a more force and this is an also one dimensional nature. Uh, so it gives me uh, my past objective. Now further what I did, the study also explores the compositing of multifunctional nanofiber nanospheres and multifunctional nanofibers with titanium nanoparticles. You see, I also uh, explore, extend my study to by making composite of multifunctional nanofiber nanospheres and multifunctional nanofibers with titanium nanoparticles. 
Number second, SNA2 titanium fiber composite to overcome the inferior water voltaic. If you go, uh, I will explain in detail in the future videos that um, pure SNA2 uh, have a very lower VOC. So for that purpose, I also make a composite of tenex side in uh, titania to overcome the inferior VOC and fill factor. So you see. These composites are developed to combine the synergistic properties of higher electron mobility of SNO2. SNO2 has one feature and titania has a favorable conduction band. Finally, DCC parameters were optimized which yield 8% efficiency in this nanofibers in this uh, SNO2 multiverse nanofibers and titanium nanoparticles composite structure. One of the highest values so far which achieved the third objective of this study the active area of the devices were in the range of this in this centimeters so this is the statement contributions so it is not just like a, a, a matter of hours and matter of uh, day that you write this kind of uh, statement of contributions uh, this means that you make this uh, whole your thesis in a very short form in a very short sentence uh, that what you basically contribute so you just make a story up uh, maximum one paragraph or two paragraph that first what you did and after that what you did and after that what you did and what was the problem in that case and what you did later and how you achieve your results this is called statement of contributions so basically uh, uh, the these all things are somehow overlapping each other but there is a clear differences that statement of contribution that what you contribute to the science community and what you uh, did something for uh, society for your research or for the sciences that you contribute basically so you need to write that in a statement in a statement form in a paragraph form so i hope you understand now and if you still any problem so do not hesitate to uh, put your comments below thanks for watching